Hi, it's Elizabeth from Time Valley Motorhomes and today we'll be doing the handover video of the Adria Twin 640 SRB Supreme. On the driver's side you've got your habitation door and then at the top you've got your awning. Just above the back wheel on the driver's side you've got your fresh water in that point. So you can unscrew this cap, you can unlock it and lock it with the key. It just twists off and then you'll need a length of hose and some adapters as some sites just provide a brass tap. You can then pop your hose pipe through there, turn it on and wait until your fresh water tank overflows or until it's full so you know you've got enough fresh water on board. And then when you're done, put your cap back on and then make sure you lock it just so no one can tamper with your fresh water source. The back of the vehicle you've got your reversing camera at the top and then you've got your black bike rack just below your number plate you can see you've got your LPG sticker so if you open the door at the back you've got your gas locker so in here you can fit two six kilogram gas bottles always secure them with the black straps so they're not moving around when you're traveling and then you've got a hand tightened pigtail just remember it's left to tighten right to loose and opposite way around being gas and then if you ever got your gas bottle turned on but you're not receiving gas in the van just make sure this little yellow toggle isn't sticking out if it is just push it in give it a couple of seconds it's just a crash valve so if you stick it back in you'll get a flow of gas through the vehicle just in front of the back wheel on the passenger side you've got your cassette locker so as long as the blade on the inside of the toilet is closed you'll be able to pull the blue handle up and gently pull it out to empty it you just want to bring out your spout and then unscrew the yellow cap when you're emptying it just remember to press this little blue button as it allows some air in and stops it from glugging you can then put some water in give it a good swirl around empty it out again and then put some blue or green liquid in the cap pop it down the spout tighten it back on push it in and then it's ready to use again just in front of the cassette you've got this little red handle and here you've got your release so this is usually for your dirty water tank so you just pull the handle down and unscrew and here you can see your dirty water is draining out you can do this when you are leaving a site as you don't want to travel home with the extra weight or when you're winterizing your van you don't want to leave any water left in the tanks as it will freeze and cause frost damage so next we've got your trim vent just make sure nothing's blocking this when it's turned on and then you've got your hookup point just remember when connecting your hookup cable to your vehicle do this first before you connect the cable to the mains post as you don't want to be walking around with a live wire just next to the passenger door you've got your diesel filler cap just unscrew this with the ignition key and then just below it you've got your ad blue it's cheaper if you go to a petrol station where they take arctic lorries and buy it off the pump instead of in the drums as it's just slightly cheaper just in front of your passenger seat you've got your vehicle battery and then under your passenger seat you've got your two leisure batteries and just on the side here you've got this little red toggle this is your leisure battery isolation switch so if you're winterizing your van and you're not using it for a couple of months just turn this switch to off and it'll just stop any power draining the leisure batteries and just on the inside of your passenger door you've got your bonnet release under the bonnet the main things you want to focus on is your screen washer fluid you've got your engine coolant your brake fluid your oil and your dipstick and you've got your negative and your positive is just under this black cap down here in case you need to give or receive a jump start and then you've got your weight plates on the front to turn your control panel on all you have to do is push the button in and then to see your leisure battery status you just turn it to the left and then again for your engine battery and then all the way to the right you've got your fresh water and then your wastewater levels to use your trauma heating system first thing you want to do is press the round button to get to your home screen 
you can then see lots of different icons. So the first one, the van, the thermometer, is your internal heating. So if you click on that, you can scroll from off all the way up to 30 degrees. Next, you've got your water. So you can have it on off, eco, which will just keep your water warm, hot or boost. Boost will take energy away from the heating for half an hour to get you hot water quicker. Next, you've got your energy source. So you can have it on just gas if you're wild camping. Mix of one kilowatt of electricity and gas, two kilowatts of electricity and gas, or just electricity, depending on what you need. You then have your fan speed. So you can have it on high, eco or boost. It will just depend. So if it was really cold, you can put it on boost and it will just blow the air around the van a bit quicker. You've then got your, you can set a timer if you like. You can have your time, you can change that. If you ever get a little warning triangle just here, it just means there's been an error. So if you go to the spanner, click on it and then scroll all the way through to reset and then preset, it will reset the issue and the fault, but then you will have to go through all the options again and set it up like you did in the first place. Here you can see both gas burner hobs are working. Just remember that once you've turned them off, let the hobs fully cool before putting the glass lid down as it will shatter. Here you can see your oven is working on gas. Here's your grill working on gas as well. Just in front of your oven, you've got your boiler drain down. This will automatically do it when it gets below two degrees, but you can do it manually as well if you're winterizing your van early. If you just turn this diamond, and you can see the little blue button, button popped out. So when you come to close it, when you're gonna use the van again, make sure you push the button in and this will stop the water from draining out. When you are draining your boiler down, open your kitchen and bathroom taps and let all the water run out so you don't get any frost damage if any water free is left in the taps to freeze. Just here as well, you've got your fresh water drain off point for all the water that's left in the pipes throughout the van. You want to do this when you're winterizing your van so again you don't get any frost damage. To use your 12 volt compressor fridge you just want to hold the on button down till the blue lights come on and then to change the temperature just hold until they flash and then you can go up or down depending on how cold you want your fridge and freezer. You can also put it into night mode which just reduces the decibel so it's slightly quieter for when you're sleeping. If you want to have your bed instead of being flat you want to have it storing in the upright position you can just gently pull pull the frame up and then you can attach the safety seat belt to the wall and then tighten it up and it will hold the bed frame up so you can access the drawers below. To make your two single beds in the rear into a double you just want to put the grey plank on the two silver railings. So it fits like this and then you can put your extra cushion in the middle and then once it's flat you've got your large double bed in the rear. In the bathroom you've got your toilet, your sink, you've got a mirror, you've also got your aerial up there and then to access a shower just gently pull on the wall and then you can slide it over and you've got your shower area When you want to flush the toilet, just make sure you've got fresh water in the tank and then have your water pump on. Press this blue button here. You'll get a flow of water into the bowl and then pull the blade open. Just make sure you shut it to stop any smells coming through the van when you've used it. You can also spin the toilet around to give you more or less leg room. So when you want to move your aerial on the outside of the van, you just want to unscrew and 
then you can push it up and then angle it depending on where the signal is and then tighten it up once you've when you're ready to use a TV then when you're ready to go home loosen it up again pull it all the way down forward facing position and then secure it back up so it doesn't get damaged when traveling to make your diner area into your single bed the first thing you want to do is take your table off the runner at the top detach half of the table leg and then put the table on the lower runner to remove the table leg you just gently pull on it and it'll come off once your table looks like this you could then get the next piece of the base to the bed the next bit of the bed looks like this it just rests on your passenger and driver's seats and the little runners and then also on this little plastic here just below your extendable workbench there's then two infill cushions two infill cushions that just fit in the gaps and there you've got your front single bed all made up just under your traveling seat you've got your trip switches and you've also got your winter isolation